Hey folks, your OS reviews. You're watching our video first look and a quick review of the Microsoft Sculpt Touch Mouse. This is a wireless Bluetooth mouse that sells for $65 on the Microsoft Store and through Amazon. This is compatible with both Windows computers, including Windows 10, 8, 7, XP, in addition to macOS devices. And what's nice is, since it uses Bluetooth, it doesn't take up an extra USB port on your Ultra Portable, and uh, it's also compatible with a few Android tablets and phones that I tested it out with. So it's uh, very versatile and works nicely with a wide array of devices. It's not quite full size compared to a lot of older and more traditional optical or wireless, wireless mouses, but it is very ergonomic so it retains the same shape and posture that you want from uh, a, a mouse that you would want to work with for longer periods of time. It has this very interesting capacitive sensor as a touch strip in place of a traditional scroll wheel that works four ways. So you can scroll it left, right, or up and down, and it's also speed sensitive. So you can accelerate it by going really quickly, and it jumps all the way to the bottom of a web page. I'll show you guys that later on when I jump to a display, but it works really well. It's very sensitive, and it creates the illusion of a real scroll wheel, something that's mechanical by having these tiny motors embedded into the mouse that gives you this kinesthetic effect where you can feel the bumps of each uh, you know jump of the of the of the scroll wheel per se by having these motors that click and uh, move around so it's a very cool effect you have to really try it out to understand it but it works very well and the benefit of having something like this which also clicks down is there's less moving parts there's less dust that can get accumulated into the wheel and it's also easier to just take with you because there isn't anything kind of bulky that protrudes from a from a real scroll wheel. So a nice modern and very sleek look. There's also an LED light on the front. Uh, it just comes in, comes in this one color. It's not too bad. It uh, doesn't attract that many fingerprints and looks fairly sleek in my opinion. And if we flip it over, we have access to the ports, including a power on off switch. Uh, it's a fairly energy uh, saving. So one battery should last you for about a year or so before you need to replace it again. Tap on the center Bluetooth key for a few seconds longer to start the pairing mode. And this is just the optical kind of sensor. There's a battery latch which you can remove to have access to two standard AA batteries, which again, um, is a nice design there. Uh, it doesn't, you know, reach hard, but uh, this is still pretty easy to swap out in case the batteries are running low. And overall, again, does have a very sleek, modern look. The grips on the sides does make it very easy to hold, despite the fact that it's not as long as a traditional mouse. So it's a very comfortable in terms of the posture and how you use it. So let's try switching to a computer screen next. All right, so Bluetooth pairs and sets up very nicely. The range of Bluetooth is roughly 10 meters or 33 feet. And you can see it's quite responsive no matter what surface I'm using it at. It's a fairly precise mouse, although the DPI can't be adjusted, so it's not ideal for gaming necessarily just because it doesn't give you as much precision. But for general day-to-day -day tasks like entering text, scrolling around web pages, it works really exceptionally well. You kind of hear it if I pop this very close to the microphone. So the haptic vibration of the plastic kind of moving around is caused by uh, you know, the sensor here, and you can really hear the sensor continue even if I scroll really quickly all the way down. I can stop it just by tapping it once on the key for stopping, you know, the scrolling. So it does have this accelerated movement if you want to go all the way down really quickly, or for more precise movement, you can just keep it onto the trackpad. And again, it also works for left and right movement uh, in addition to up and down. So pretty nice. The click keys themselves are, vi are very responsive, no issues as far as lag. And since it's using Bluetooth as opposed to 2.4G, it actually seems to work uh, slightly faster and it's uh, quite energy efficient. So again, you don't have to change your battery that often either. Pretty easy to use, simply clicking on links as well as on smaller icons still works nicely. Not as ideal for things like, uh, let's say, image editing if you really want to get super precise, but it does still work. And again, the performance is quite consistent even if I switch over to iOS or Android. And even for kind of zooming in and out of things, you can see that it works quite well. So a good mouse to pair with both mobile applications as well as your full desktop and computers. And again, performance is quite good. Um, although it is a little bit on the pricier side at $65, I think that this is a great mouse. It's comfortable to use uh, even for hours on end without that many problems. I had no uh, issues in terms of connection, you know, getting lost or anything when I was testing it and, you know, reconnecting it as well as uh, powering it on after a computer would 
wakes up from sleep, you know, it pairs almost instantly. And as far as using it with a wide range of products, there are no issues there either. So if you are willing to splash out a little bit of extra cash, you're looking for an ergonomic uh, mouse with a bit of a modern twist in terms of its design, I think this is a smart choice to look after, especially if you can score it at a lower cost if you look on Amazon or eBay. So thanks for watching this video here at OS Reviews. This has been the Microsoft Sculpt Touch wireless Bluetooth mouse.